How does it feel to be scammed again? <laughs> now I feel what you feel. <laughs> no, noisy old man and that on that. Lydia. I gave him a bake well tart because it's all I had, but I uh, woofed it down like a champion. Okay, today we're at Tirana bus station and we're going to take a bus down to Athens. They say it's 12 hours, but it's probably going to be more like 17. So we're going to try and solicit a ticket, get the best deal, and see if we can play by card, which is quite rare in Tirana. If you want to find out what a typical bus journey looks like, check it out. We're about to show you. And then I'll reveal the price and everything else a little bit later. All right, let's get going. So many options to choose from. Yeah, it's kind of small here, like really small, but it's, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. You pay, well, 80 or 45 pay? No, 80 is, is okay. 80. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. 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 A good price. Okay, we have the tickets. We decided to go with top lines because they take a debit card, so we don't need to get cash and spend more um, euros withdrawing money. So that's what we decided with. A lot of these only take cash, um, but none of them have a toilet at all. Apparently they have Wi-Fi, but only in Greece. So we'll, yeah, we'll see how the bus experience goes, and um, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, we're here. We're about to start our journey to Athens. We have the bags of doom. By the way, that place right there, scam artists. I'll tell you in a second. Don't get a bus with AMR travels. Uh, but yeah, there's an hour to our bus, and, um, and we'll be there soon. I'll get the bags off and catch up with you. Oh, be careful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, there's our bus, the yellow one. The reason we picked the yellow one, because it looked the newest out of everything. So we, we assumed maybe uh, we'll get there in one piece. I'm not sure. But here we are. It's alright, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so we have one more hour till the bus leaves. Uh, just put the luggage in. Um, he wanted to put all our luggage under the bus, but I didn't want to put my laptop <coughs> under there. So we were arguing. I'm like, dude, I'm not putting my laptop under the bus. So <laughs> I, I think I think it worked out in the end. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, we have one more hour till we leave, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. I think the leg room is pretty tight. I had a little look. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty pretty squishy in there. Have a look at the bus. Look, look at that. Looks quite clean, doesn't it? And we have uh, a couple TVs. Look at the seats. Yeah. It is not bad. It's a little clean. It's a little clean. Look at that. So, one thing you'll notice where's the toilet? We're doing registration, look. Look at that. Look at a PowerPoint. Look at a PowerPoint. Okay, Phyllis and Caroline. Here. Shaco. Shaco. No way. It's the one who gave us um, the tickets. I've never seen that before. He has a cigarette in the hand. He was smug. He smug in our faces. Yep, he was like ten. Oh my god. Bye bye Albania! Bye bye T 
Yanam. So we have um, Albania's greatest hits right here, look on YouTube. I wonder if that's gonna play the whole time, what do you think? <coughs> you want a movie? Check, check two. Okay, we're leaving. It's ten past five. It's supposed to be a twelve hour journey, but I think it might be a little longer. Okay, we're just stopping for our first uh, first toilet break. Yeah. After two hours. Okay, we're four hours in. I think everyone's getting off. It looks like a restaurant or something. I need some air. Uh, Drive is driving like a maniac. Nice little rest area. Get a little bit of lunch, maybe. Maybe a drink. Toilet again and get back on the road. Okay, I think we're at the border. Okay, so we have to get all our bags, every single thing, jackets, bags, everything. And um, yeah, go through uh, passport control. I guess they're gonna scan, scan it all. That's what the bus looks like, by the way. It's not too bad. Um, they have a different model where the leg room is like this, I noticed, because we had a look on another bus. But this one's not too bad. But none of the sockets work. Like, if you want to charge your phone here, it doesn't work at all, sadly. Okay, we're in Greece. We're just waiting for the bus. Our little doggo. Hey, doggo. I gave him a Bakewell tart because it's all I had, but I uh, woofed it down like a champion. Didn't you, eh? I know you want more. I don't have any more. <laughs> you ate everything, eh? You ate bloody everything. Oh, look at that. So the bus company told us when we arrive into Greece, we have Wi-Fi on the bus. <coughs> so, uh... Oh, my Wi-Fi is shunned. <laughs> no, that one doesn't count. Okay, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Oh. Locked. I don't think no. so. You've been scammed. Again. How does it feel to be scammed again? <laughs> I, now I feel what you feel. <laughs> <laughs> You've been scammed again. Scammed again. No, no problem. Wait, 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 wait. We don't know what is this. A toilet. No way. An Albanian YouTube playing the whole way. So we just stopped again. It's not too bad, we stop every couple of hours, so there's a good chance to go toilet and stuff. So, um, yeah, there is that. But we're in Greece anyway, and it's just gone midnight. So, the music.
music never stops. Are you enjoying the Albanian music? Are you enjoying the music? Twelve hours of uh, Albanian music never stops. But um, old noisy bridges over here has finally gone to sleep. So that, that means maybe I can sleep. Now. But, Finally sleep. When the music is on, that means we still alive. That's true. <laughs> the no noisiest old man I've ever met. Lydia. <laughs> Never met an old man so noisy until today. <laughs> the music finally stopped. in the morning we're here well we're here at the 5 30 in the morning middle of the city no idea where to go or what to do yet so um, we're gonna try and figure that out but it's not much of a bus station they just leave you um, pretty much outside so uh, we're gonna have to figure something out but that was the bus ride um, I'm gonna get somewhere warmer, then I'll wrap up the video. All right, we made it in one piece. To be honest, it wasn't as bad as the bus we got before from Montenegro to Albania. If you missed that video, I'll link it in the description below. It was a bit of a disaster. Uh, so a few things with this bus. The price was 40 euros each person, so that's one way. I think it's a little cheaper if you get a round trip, like a return. If you have valuables in a bag, a lot of the time they'll try and push them under the bus if they don't fit on the space above the seat but just stand your ground and say you'll put them on the floor you don't really want to put your laptop underneath because the bus makes a lot of stops someone can easily take it off and they don't really check the tickets either for the baggage uh, the next thing was the journey was 12 hours total but there's a lot of reports of it lasting for around 17 hours depending on the traffic and the border and everything like that uh, the bus station in Albania is not great at all. There's nowhere to sit. There's trash everywhere. It's a little bit dodgy. But there is a nice shopping mall next door. So you can hang out in there. And there's a supermarket as well. So get a lot of snacks and supplies from the supermarket. Because you will need them on the bus. Unless you want to get some can of food on the way. Uh, the Wi-Fi didn't work. Even though they say they have Wi-Fi. Uh, there's no toilet. There's no toilet on any bus. But the bus does stop every two to three hours. And some places the bus stops at don't have food, so it's a bit of a gamble. And those places don't take cards, so you need the cash as well. Uh, the power points on the bus, the outlets, they don't work, even though they have them, they don't work at all. Uh, the bus plays Albanian music, Albanian YouTube, quite loudly for eight hours. So if the bus is 12 hours, eight of those hours will be playing Albanian music on the TVs non-stop. Uh, the driver smokes cigarettes, so make sure you get a seat uh, at the back. A lot of them smoke cigarettes, so yeah, sit at the back. And when you arrive in Athens, the bus stop, uh, it's like a bus station, but there's no indoor area. It's only outdoors. And if you wait there longer than five minutes, they'll tell you to leave, so you'll be on the street. So make sure you have a place to go as soon as you arrive. You can't stick around. And the last thing is, the, some buses are different. Um, not all buses the same. We got a little bit lucky because the bus we took in the end had a nice bit of legroom. But the bus we looked at before we bought the ticket had a lot less legroom. So I think if you're over five foot eight, you're going to struggle. So it's a bit of a gamble. And that's with top lines as well. And the last thing I mentioned right at the start of the video, I said don't go to AMR Travel. By the way, that place right there. Scam artists. I'll tell you in a second. It's because when we went there, they said, oh, we have Wi-Fi, we have toilets, we have everything you need. To be honest, it's the best bus company out of Albania. It's a total scam because they don't have Wi-Fi, they don't have toilets. None of them have Wi-Fi and toilets. 
Or I think one of them has Wi-Fi, but it's very rare it would work. A lot of people say the Wi-Fi in Greece works, but the Albania portion doesn't work. But the truth is it doesn't work at all. But the MR, AMR travel, they were very deceptive about it. They tried to say they had a lot more than they had and they offered us a cash price and they were a bit weird about the tickets and when I contacted them on Facebook, they started calling me an asshole. So I, I don't even know what kind of operation they're running, but just ignore AMR travel at least. I can't speak for the others, but top lines, it seemed okay. So I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for more adventures coming soon. Take care.